Welcome back to another episode of Slime Roll Podcast. I'm Lil Boy Rock. I'm Solo. I'm Ye, aka Mr. Fuck These Brands. And you're in for another conversation that's going to be out this world. Let's go. All right, so let's... All right, so basically I want to think... I think the first thing I want to pretty much bring up was um, the topic about pre-production meetings and why they suck. Um, So I'm going to just pretty much go first. Uh, Pre-production meetings suck because when you have them bitches, you turn into disconnected from those jumper. (laughs) We as fuck. (laughs) I I feel like... uh, (laughs) Hurt, man. I feel like you just wanted to <laughs> like, staple that in. Because nah, because, bro, we brought it up last time, bro. Last time, don't know if you remember, mm-hmm. but we had gotten an entire big argument because uh-huh. you was like, yo, they do this and, and, and they need this to be successful. And the one time I do it, the one time I switch up, the one time I try to make it seem like something I'm not, we produce the worst content in the world. Wow. Just like Blasey, just like Yuri, <laughs> and just like Oswald. <laughs> this man's crazy. In my, in, my, in my opinion, I feel like the way we went about it, if we went about, if we went about it in a different way, hmm. then it would have never came out the way it came out. Do you I, feel like it was I, forced? I think if you ask any podcast, they say they have a tiny pre-production meeting, and then they talk... And then they talk about what should be better next time. But if you have a drawn out discussion, you're going to be out of words by the time you talk. And his <laughs> word exactly was, why the fuck we can't talk about it in length? No, because we didn't talk about it in length. We were just talking. <laughs> to be it, fair, it was... I did bring up the topics on multiple occasions. Throughout the week before we even had the pod. Uh-huh. And I did do it with him. I did it with you. And I, I kept giving niggas updates on what I was going to say. And this, this, and this. And and then we had a pre-production meeting. And I only gave... I only recapped the last part of the damn discussion. But what so if, then when we got on camera, it was mid. But, but what is Just like Blasey, House Phone, and <laughs> Yuri on Disconnected. But what if... Uh, I'm about to say Blasey for no reason and shit. <laughs> I, but, but what if... The pre-production meetings was you stating your opinions throughout the week until we had the freaking podcast. Because I think you get the same results. It was it was mid. So. It was mid, and I did exactly that. It was mid. Uh, I don't want. I have a no talk, no no discussion policy, and I'm sticking with it. I disagree. I think. I think uh, you saw what happened when we agreed with you. We didn't agree. That was some bullshit. <laughs> I don't know, man. I felt like. <laughs> I feel like what you're asking for, you got. It. Nah, that's got. That's we good. talked about everything, bro. We talked about a lot of the topics that we even discussed. We talked about them. To be fair, the only topic we didn't talk about was the World Cup topic. To be fair. But the like, it could, if we innovate. Man, you sound like Flacco right now. <laughs> <laughs> we innovate, nigga. <laughs> You sound like you sound like Flacco when he was trying to sabotage Giga and uh and, and Almighty Suspect. When that man couldn't say a single sentence. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Bro. Yeah. So in conclusion, uh, <laughs> pre-production meetings suck. They suck. They don't yeah. yield results. I don't know what is in your head right okay, now. I'm just saying. I don't know where you were going with it, but I don't know what pre-production. Maybe we have to define what pre-production meetings actually yeah, mean. Yeah, that's what he was trying to say. If it's different, it different. It's gonna work for different things. Or if you're talking about different things, but if you're talking about what we're do, what we're trying to do, a pre-production meeting kind of takes the wind. Out it of takes it. the energy out of the conversation. That's just how I feel like. I mean, yeah, I guess. Not really, but I feel like it all. It, I feel like you can't judge the first time you do something and, and entirely shut it down because that's the first time and it didn't go as. Let me ask time. you this, bro. Do you make clothing? Yes. Do you make designs? Correct. And when you do those things, do you receive a feeling? Do you think we need to have uh, yes. pre-production meetings for this? In my opinion, yeah. I think I I I think 
In different contexts, yes. And if you're saying yes, then what should it consist of? What it should consist of is if a t- if a topic arrives, let's say if we're shooting on Friday and a topic arrives on Tuesday, I don't think we should not talk about that topic until... F- I don't think we should be doing, hey, no talk about that topic. It happened on Tuesday. Wait until Friday. I think we could talk about that conversation throughout the oh, week. No, oh, oh, no, no. Okay, so I, I see those two as two. I feel like things. we've talked about that already. Yeah, but we've already like kind of we already kind of established what you're talking. You could, talk, you you could about. talk about it prior. Yeah, but it's, it's like when they is in in these seats I think it's and too then formal, to talk about I, it. I think it's too. It's too because we talked not, about like I feel like you're confusing what we talked about. Yo, if things are happening in real life, and yo, we're not shooting until Friday. Yo, if it's Tuesday, why are we not going to talk about it on Tuesday? Why are we not going to talk about it on Monday? But if there's a new development on Friday or on Thursday, we're not talking about it. If there's a new development Thursday night and we know we're shooting on Friday, we're not talking about it, bro. Not before we get on set. If you feel like you have to discuss these things to get a gauge of somebody's mind, bro. One, like, bro, you talk to us regularly, so why do you need that? No, because it's like... what. It's what is so important about this? Bro, you we were don't... talking about yay. That was Yo. a topic that niggas needed to discuss that day at that moment. But he was like, save it. Save it for the podcast. Save Yo. For the podcast. Yo, you... Like, look, this is the thing, right? So let's talk about... Let's talk about uh, this real quick. And let's wrap it up. Let's talk about Messi, right? When we talked about Messi, you had so I'm much to messy. say off of camera. <laughs> Who? It got messy. <laughs> he had so much to say off camera. The joke so hit that I didn't even catch it, bro. Look, you had so much to say off camera. The fact that you didn't even have the same facts when you got put on the hot seat was- is why you don't want to talk about it. You you need to look dumb on camera, Let's nigga. Be for real. Like, yeah, be for real. Let's, Let's be, be for real. real. Because you had points that you were stating that was combating me to say what I said, and you didn't state those Bro, facts. you was arguing with yourself, my nigga. I never had no facts for you, boy. Sabotage. <laughs> nah, bro. You're See, you're so <laughs> crazy. I- you're so crazy that you thought that you needed... Like, you thought you needed to uh, know somebody's point of view. My my man started talking about Ronaldo and Messi to himself. Bro, I never bro. I never said Ronaldo. I never even... Bro, I didn't care. I never once talked about, yo, Ronaldo's achievements versus Messi. I never cared. You just got off on a tangent. I wanted niggas to have that same energy on camera. But you know why you couldn't? Because you already set that shit off camera, nigga. You already <laughs> had fueled that conversation. I already said it. Now when you got on camera, now you're shy, bitch. You shy. Nah, that's cap. Nigga, we there seen no it. You we seen, seen it. it. You seen I mean, it. We seen it. You seen it's it. It's a fact. I don't gotta lie. I'm just saying, like, you're not. When you talk about these topics beforehand, bro, like, think about regular things going on in your life, bro. Do you have to rehearse that with me before you fucking talk about it? Like, why are we in this bitch trying to discuss? Uh, you came up out of the blue. We had we had meetings prior before we got on camera. Yo, did we need to rehearse those before we talk? Yo, you got hold, right hold. there and you you I stood said, right there and you gave a whole speech and you sound like Deion Sanders. You feel me? You sound like you sound like some motivational coach. You feel me? Why? And you what, what, is, what is this nigga coming? Where are you coming? Bro, from? I'm saying that we didn't have to rehearse that. What are you talking? about? I have no clue. We didn't have to rehearse that. We didn't have to have prior engagements just to get that out of you. I'm saying that came about from you just talking in the moment. So that's why pre-production meetings suck. But who, I'm who's Flacco. idea? Who, I don't want to go. Who idea was to say we do pre-production meetings? Yours. I never said what we did. You just you yeah, just said it. Was. It was your idea. No, 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 what no, no. We did prior to the podcast was your idea. You gotta understand. That pre-production. You gotta understand. That was- <laughs> you gotta understand. You just echoed the same sentiment for the pre-production meetings. Right. I wanted to see a better elevation. I wanted to see podcast el- etiquette. I wanted to see a lot of things that would make us rise up in the podcast. And yes, we're just starting. But I said, yo, he's echoed the sentiment about pre-production meetings. Let's incorporate that. Let's see how it works. Maybe that would be the thing to turn us up. And then we did it. And it, t- bro, we was turned down. That shit was mid. But I'm saying, like... You're saying a whole lot of bullshit. That pre-production meeting... First of all, that whole sentence... (laughs) It's just... It was not it. You feel me? 
it wasn't there. So I, 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 that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what your have... pre-production meeting means. I, I don't know what that means to you. I feel like you just want to talk about something. I just want to talk. Talk to your mans right here. <laughs> Leave me out of it. Like, I, that's, how, that's how I'm rocking, bro, because I got to have my energy level up, and I don't want to talk about the same things three, four times, five times, and then feel like I'm about to produce the same type of content out of that. I'm not, bro. I'm only going to say whatever I say in that one conversation, and it's not going to travel into the next one. Every time I do it, I'm going to look at it from a new lens. I'm going to have more time to think about it. I'm going to water down my material, and it's just not going to come off with the same energy to the point where I'm going to be slouching because I don't give a damn about the convo. And I'm not there, my brother, so I am done with pre-production meetings. They suck. If they were so great, I would be watching Disconnected with House Phone, Blasey, and Yuri. But I don't. <laughs> Anyways, yo. Um, so the verdict came out <laughs> that Tory Lanez is guilty. Um, oh, fuck. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think he's talking about shit, bro. Yo. <laughs> Oh damn, bro! You could you could uh, speak up, monkey. <laughs> no, that's crazy. That's crazy. You're wild. That's um, no, uh, yeah, y'all ever talk about nothing besides pre-production meetings? And it's like, nigga, what are you talking about? Thanks, for Captain Obvious. Thanks for pointing that yeah, out. Yes, now we talking you. about now we talking about that's the Meg versus shit. Tory verdict and Tory being found guilty. I think he's guilty, honestly. I because I rewatched Meg's live after the whole shit happened, and with believing is what if she's not, if she's telling a hundred percent the truth, and she sound valid, she sound valid. Dude, but you when, you to, to, uh, when you listen to <laughs> look, this thing is in this wait, 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 wait. When you listen to Tori's live, you're like this nigga moving too fast. This nigga not answering this shit calmly. He kind of like fidgeting and shit i just think that when meg was saying what do i gotta lie for and yo you came to this conclusion after the verdict yeah. yo this is why andrew tate is so necessary for a young man <laughs> out here bro i'm just telling you bro you sound like you have a vagina right now not on, i'm not trying to be disrespectful i'm not i'm just trying to be real with you at the end of the day yo the verdict came out i'm not about to argue with the verdict but I'm also not about to argue with the facts of the case. And there was too many inconsistencies from every single witness provided. So I'm not about to go watch a, 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 I'm not about to go watch the live where Meg dropped a little inconsistent truth in there. And then it came out in court that that was inconsistent with this, with this was inconsistent what I'm saying with this. Is, what I'm and saying now is, all of a sudden I know. So the reason, no, the reason why I, I don't know the story. Can, the reason why I came to that conclusion is you do know the story. I don't know the story. Have you been following? I know. I know. I know that Tory Lanez was found guilty on all three charges. I don't know who I don't shot. Even, I don't even know the. I don't even know the charges though. Like uh, I it think was, it was like possession. Like, yeah, possession what, of what, a firearm. Uh, di- uh, illegal f- charge of a yeah, discharge of, of a, a firearm. Yeah. And I think it was uh, in possession. Wait, did you say that already? Uh, I think. Assault, no. assault. Yeah, it was with, assault. It was assault. With assault with like a death. But like, what I'm like, saying is, those three charges. Meg was assaulted by Tory allegedly, which is why he was tried. So I'm saying, with those charges against Tory, he was gonna get guilty no matter what. But isn't that like, isn't that a different charge if you shoot somebody? Yeah, is that attempted murder. Right. Yeah, that's attempted murder. So why isn't there a charge? On Ooh, talk about it. Because what I'm saying is this. Mm-hmm. Because she was shot in her leg. You said she was shot in her yeah, leg. Yeah, she could have lost her leg. She yeah. could have lost her leg. But she could have hit. It could have hit a artery. very. It could have hit an artery she that could have caused her to uh, have so, bleeding that could not be okay, repaired. So and she could have lost in, her life. In the in the live when she recapping the moment and she's saying that he got the shit. Uh, he went. He went through the window and he shot at me or whatever. The I fact that sounds wild. Yeah, no, listen, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah, listen, no, listen, bro. listen, 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 listen. The fact Why are we that talking the, about a lie, bro? We fact. already heard what the case was under oath, okay, my nigga. You can't man. lie in court. That's called perjury, nigga. I'm talking about what what Meg said. How am I? What? 
You talking about what Meg said, bro? It, it was that's in. A, that's it was a piece in of evidence in court. This is what I'm discussing. And and we talking so, about inconsistencies. No, so but, and so with Meg being a witness and having inconsistencies, why are we talking about? Uh, why are we talking about evidence that was proven to be inconsistent to the case that we all witnessed? No, so yo, that's the is, problem with y'all niggas. What I'm saying y'all is, really believe that yo everything was black and white. Yo, that case was not black and white. That shit look. There was there was people on Twitter, on social media, celebrating a black man going to jail for 20, 20, 30 years. Yo, I don't condone no man going to jail. I don't wish that shit on nobody. But Most of you niggas ain't even been locked up. Can I say this? Can I say this? <laughs> it was like niggas ain't even been locked up for a day. When if the fact that someone that he Had shot at her ticket. feet, the fact that he shot at her feet, and the, the fragments went into her leg. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, allegedly. I mean, it's... Well, we didn't see the fragments, but, but apparently that was show, she showed her foot or something What like I'm that. saying is, if she... Because she was walking around with blood on her feet, all that shit. And she said... She told the police it was, it was glass, all that shit. What I'm saying is, if all that is true, if all that is true, then all the, Tory, uh, the charges brought against Tory are valid for that nigga to be found guilty. Yo, I got a question for you, bro. So right now in Afghanistan, they've actually banned all women from going to school. How do you like? How do you feel about women not having the ability to get education? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's wild. That, I mean, but how do you feel about it? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, do you think it's right? Do you think it's wrong? Do you have a take on that? How do you feel about it? <laughs> I, look, it does not concern that's, me. That's wild. It does not concern me. I cannot. I look. Look. Maybe I've never been. That question, man. I, I'm. You asked me, and I answered. <laughs> so I'm asking you. What do you answer? Hey, I don't know the correlation of what you're. But do you answer. think all women should not be allowed to attend a university? Should not be allowed to attend education? You answer that. Whoa, question. Whoa, 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 wait. Be <laughs> tread lightly. You answer that question. No, no, no. Tread answer. lightly. Tread lightly. Do you believe that all women should not do? Do you believe that all women deserve hey, don't, don't deserve point. education? I don't get you. In point Afghanistan right all. now, I don't get your point at all. I'm just. I'm asking a simple question. No, why we? Not, why we got? A, no, you're not. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm asking. A, what do you believe? Okay. What, okay. Yeah. Okay. You about to answer? From school. Yeah, bro. They can't you know like so women. Crazy? You know what's so crazy? But but like, can he answer? <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, answer the question, bro. Because you're looking very crazy right now, bro. Can we either move on? Yo, or answer the question, else? bro. Do you believe women deserve education or not? Yes. Okay, you fucking feminist. <laughs> That's why you're talking the way you're talking. Yo, at the end of the day, bro. Hey, Tory Lanez was guilty. I'm not here. I don't. I don't give a fuck about what Tory Lanez got going on. I don't give a fuck about what Meg got going on. I never even gave a fuck. It was just put inside of my face so much to the point where I had to consume it because this is the most trendiest thing to talk about. So I had to interject my opinion. But I don't care about anything they do. But I will tell you this: just like as I told somebody else that I was talking to on the phone yesterday, we were talking about this case, and I said, "Yo, this is what I believe." The, where everyone, for the first time, the black community is celebrating the judicial system and how it just did black people right for the first time in history. That's what everyone has observed, right? But we just seen a botched court case yield results that were not anticipated. Yeah, that's crazy. And that was the most surprising, shocking verdict of my history because I wasn't alive for OJ. So the fact that we just witnessed that can I? Dude, that should show you. But but that no, should but show I you. feel like I feel like the firearm possession of firearm. But like, look, if but it's look, DNA but look, check this, gun, check this out though. But check this out though. Like you feel me? We just talking about the facts and stuff. We 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 still we just revert. No, no, I'm saying you're reverting back to the facts of the case. I'm saying it doesn't matter. He was found guilty. Oh, it, yeah, doesn't right, no, no, it, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He was found guilty. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm to the botch. Okay. Yeah. So all right. Back to the fo- back to focus. Like so, you're saying that there was all these inconsistencies with the case. The prosecutor slipped up. It looked like Tory was in favor. And guess what? He got charged. He was guilty. We're all celebrating another black man going into jail. Clap it up for you guys. Anyways, the fact that that just happened and occurred, 
We just looked at something that should have never even came about. That's the most weirdest amount of information that was yeah. literally devolved in a court case. And no one is able to expand on it. And no one is caring about it. Because let's be honest, people that are talking from how he's talking right now, they typically did not keep up with the court case. All they know is Meg got on live and Tori was found guilty. That's all they care about. No one is addressing the actual facts. But this is what I'm saying. That court case is about to have very large implications for the black community. Because not only does it impact men, not only does it impact women, but it impacts the entire community. Because what happens when something else comes out and it's even bigger? And now we don't give a damn if you're a black person or you are, uh, or you're a black woman, you're a black man. Yo, we want this case to be in favor of us. Because it sounds better. So I don't care if you guys, I don't care if this is, uh, this is about to change our talk, world. We want, we don't care. You're talking about the state, right? I'm talking about the state. And that's the. And I'm that's saying the state, state going to have the ability to change whatever outcome is in favor of them, no matter what that's facts crazy. that you present. That's and crazy. that's what nobody is addressing. That's and that's about to be a challenge. Let's. Five years, ten years from now, we all about to look back at this case and say, this is the one that made us get here that's and crazy. no one wants to talk about that bro that's crazy. that's crazy because if la can do it every other state can do it if every other state can do it man y'all minorities better better buckle up saddle up for the ride we about to live in and, and you could call me a conspiracy theorist i may just be talking talking out my ass but I, I'm, I'm just seeing between the lines this is a victory for black women no doubt I don't celebrate no black woman getting harmed, but this is a loss for the black community. So, black and black crime. That's what that's that's one topic that might just be around forever now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Nobody want to talk about this. That's why I, I and, and and like I said earlier, I was on the phone. I'm like, what do you think I was talking about? Cookies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? That's that's me just getting deep. I don't think people wanna I don't think people really be ready for like them deep conversations and stuff like that. But I, I do think that, you know, a lot of stuff has to be read in between the lines. I think that like we're so surface level, we're so prepared to talk about things that are black and white. Mm-hmm. Nobody actually wants to look at the world as gray. Cause nothing is black and white. Nothing is easy. Nothing is just hard. Nothing is simple. Everything is complex. Everything Everything is is subjective to its own its own self. I don't think that people are diving in deep enough anymore. I think that we're just allowing Twitter to tell us what we should do and what we shouldn't and what we should care about and what we shouldn't. So Okay. So uh I have something to add in changing of topics. Is uh I sent you a clip earlier today or you sent it to me of Cardi. It was a before and after of like uh, artist's first song and an artist's most recent song, and it was Cardi and uh, Jordan Carter rapping at the camera, and behind him was Uno the activist. Did you see this? I didn't even peep that. Wait. I just laughed. At it. <laughs> what uh, this dude what said, said, I didn't even peep that. If that was for real that he was behind you. He was behind Cardi while they were shooting that video, right? Uh-huh. My next question. Oh fuck. My next question was, which one is the weirdo? What does that mean? What I mean by saying that question is when I say for them, for them two men to fall off on some you over here, I'm over here. Who was the one that was like, hey, I'm not messing with you no more. I'm, I'm focused on my thing or I'm not messing with you. I'm focused on my thing. Who was the one? Did if they, they were up? in that video together and these niggas was damn near close as hell. Right. Maybe they're cousins. Is, what I'm saying is, oh, wow. are they really cousins? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. But I guess you thought they were just friends. I thought they were just friends. No, they're cousins. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is, and, and right now the fact that they seem to not fuck with each other that has nothing but, to do with them. You what? didn't, I, I, because I, 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 I get you didn't know this because when um, that record came out, remember when uh, ASAP what? Rocky what? signed Playboy Cardi we had and and what came out. Remember the song What? Yeah. Remember, you know, What, the original part, the original version of What 
it has Uno, the yeah. activist, on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the one that's and saying yeah, like, what? Everyone know. thought it was... Everyone yeah, thought that was Cardi. Point. Point. Yeah, what I'm saying is, was he... Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, you brought this topic up. You know what I'm saying? Uneducated yeah, swine. Yeah, you're asking if niggas are <laughs> You wanted to call you asked the question. You asked the question. Yo. I said what? 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 Just like the song. Said, Just like the song. The song is called? Yeah. Exactly. As I said, get to your point. Like, you're still sitting up the front of what we're Whatever. What? Whatever. I'm just telling you right now that basically what happened was some label issues that um, resulted in Uno not getting the credit on that song. Because if you go back to it, he got it. It was up on a SoundCloud. But when the video came out, it was just Playboy Cardi. And now correct me if I'm wrong. You, somebody might be able to go do their uh, car facts, their Googles. But I think it was something that happened like that. And then I believe... Um, Uno took offense to that, and that kind of, like, split, caused a rift in their relationship, and then, obviously, like, Cardi was traveling, and he was starting to, you know, get deeper into the ASAP mob, and Uno was kind of, like, left out of the whole ASAP mob, but, you know, Cardi had just signed the ASAP mob, so... Mm -hmm. Of course he would do it. Of course they was putting that backing into him. Mm -hmm. And I think Uno was able to get a deal out of that situation too. Um, but as you guys know, he was really with a uh, Fonny heavier. Um, but they all grew apart. Resentment. You know, money makes niggas jealous. Money I mean, gonna make niggas envy you, how, even your own cousin. That's how it's always gonna be. But if I had to say anything, what do y'all think this new Playboy Cardi song is gonna sound like do you think he's dropping a, 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 a single or is he dropping the tape bro i don't even want to have no cardi speculation convo because yo like we don't dead ass know <laughs> like it's like what are we talking about right now like yo like i seen a i seen like a tweet that said yo cardi's new song is gonna be fire Yo, he just posted a screenshot of a damn yeah, yeah, of a yeah. picture. You can't predict anything. About Yo, what are we yeah. talking about I right now? Clear. Like y'all wasn't even able to predict at me, at me. Yeah, <laughs> and niggas wasn't fuck with that when it came out. Yo, like yeah, I'm not gonna I lie. Know, I mean, mean if I had to guess, if I had to really guess, like what what Cardi was like Lane was gonna be, I would say something along the lines of that song he came out with Rocky. You know that one that sounded like gospel. Oh, that was the, the newest one. Yeah, yeah. I would, oh, yeah. I would be my yeah, guess. That was hard too. That would be my guess. If, if I'm talking about production, production was and like something that's just like more out the box. I mean, that's probably the most out the box Cardi song I've heard in a while compared to anything else. But who knows, man? Because I, I will put it like this: ASAP uh, Rocky does influence Cardi. But Cardi also influences ASAP Rocky. So maybe that just might have been a Lucy. I honestly can't tell you, bro. Is he going to be screaming? Is he going to have a baby voice? Or is Cardi going back to old Cardi? Who knows? But to speculate, nah, that shit fucking crazy. Yeah, I think he, he did just tweeted two things. Yeah, it's just, but it's, it's like some hype for the fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't funny. necessarily see, bro, I don't. Like, it's, at this point, like, I'm in a point where I just feel like, yo, Cardi's going to give us new music whenever Cardi gives us new music. And there's no reason for me to be hype. Like, I'm older, so it's like I don't have that that necessity to just go out on a limb and, and crave some and fiend for new Cardi music because, yo, I'm going to get it when I get it. Like, this is ASAP Rocky's, like, protege. You feel me? Like... Yo, we're lucky if we get another album off this nigga, like, honestly. So, it's like, when I get it, I'm going to fuck with it, because I fuck with Cardi. But the if we really be honest, the most people that's out here, like, going crazy for it, bro, it's the fucking vamps. Of course. The vamps. They going crazy off of a damn screenshot. Yo, it wasn't like that when Cardi came out, bro. <laughs> Yo, like, I ain't going to lie. Self-entitled? Oh, do y'all remember how y'all was? Dilate? Do y'all remember how y'all was? I don't remember. I, I just remember the self title. I remember the scenery. That was 2016. But That's, see, that was a different time period. Yeah. Though. That was a different time period. You can't even compare nothing from then now. That was now. If we really be honest, I think people don't even care about the music Cardi about the drop. I think they really just care <laughs> about the image. What is he going to do next? Well, 
Is he gonna be a vamp anymore? Do I have to, do I get to wear colors now? Uh, clearly, that photo he put out with a little cover art and stuff clearly is entailing. He's not really staying like getting away from black. But then, but you know, when the baby voice came out, so did Coachies, Coach Heist, so did uh, Mario Judah, so did all these other clones. I wouldn't be surprised if he wrapped up on the face paint because YB had it on. You know what I'm saying? Young boy sounding like Cardi. Young boy putting face paint on like Cardi. He painting his nails like Cardi. He trying to be a rock star like Cardi. He trying to be a punk star. It's like, yo, Cardi always got to switch it up because these, once these niggas start biting, it's, it's dead. So he's going to do something that we really can't see coming. And I wouldn't really speculate. I think that's going to be a waste of my time. Because I, I, we legitimately don't know. We not in we not in um, Cardi Week era no more. I don't know. When was the last week? We got? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last week? We <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey God, <laughs> bro! Nigga, <Is> that this, <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> dude, hey. Y'all, y'all, you know, you know what I feel like right now, bro. Y'all make me feel like I'm Flacco on the Monday show, bro. I don't even know, bro. I I really be trying to like. uh, I need. I I should replace both of you guys with Papa Lamb. I'm, I'm I'm really curious because I'll be watching people's podcasts like that, right? I'll be watching that many podcasts and like. You feel me? We have so many different atmospheres for these entertainers that be on podcasts and shit. But it's like, when we're doing it, it's like, <laughs> we don't know where this episode is going to go. <laughs> Are you going to be the rowdy one? <laughs> Are you going to say some wild ass shit? <laughs> Am I going to ask the question that's going to come back? Like, Yo, nah, who cares? Nah, be nah, yourself. Nah, bro. Be no, you. But, but I'm saying, who like, what, I'm saying, like, in this in the setting of, like, what we're doing right who now. Who cares? I'm saying, Why are we worried about that? <laughs> why we can't just came and why we can't just came here and just had a combo? Have a combo? Well, do you find this conversation good? I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I thought so. 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 Yo, I Yo, you asked me. Yo, 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 wait. Oh, Are you mad on. because you couldn't join in on the topic? <laughs> nah, bro, you just going on. Okay, and talk going about on something. And going on yo, and going okay, on. so look, answer this Not question. Not one moment was you just like, oh. <laughs> because he asked me, he asked me something that I'm very <laughs> interested in. He asked me something that I'm very like interested in. Three minutes straight. Yo, he asked me something I'm very interested in. You never chimed in. You didn't even know nothing about Uno and and Cardi being cousins. You mad? That's yo, pick your head up, bro. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, wake up. Wake up, nigga. That's not the point, nigga. All I'm saying, all right, look. I got a question for him because you know so much about this. Do you think Chicago is still a city for music? I don't think it. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Chicago is a city for music. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, be, fu- be fucking for real, bro. I don't think Chicago's a good place for music. <laughs> so that's crazy. Oh my god. Why? Why do you think that? Because it's too. <laughs> Chicago's no, a good be place serious, for music. bro. I am serious. I don't, like, I don't know. I don't know what to bro, say did about. You, did you smoke? Did say. you smoke before you came here, bro? <laughs> Eyes low as hell. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you smoked before you came here. Nah. Cause like he said, he said like I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Like, yo, did you smoke a cart or something? Nah, I ain't edible. See, I'm like, <laughs> you for real? Nah, I took like I took like twenty five percent of one, and just made me a lot tired. Than I thought Can you educate our audience for how much that is? I don't know. I don't smoke weed. Like, uh, a gummy. I said I took twenty five percent of a twenty five percent of a gummy. I don't even know what that is. You don't know how much THC milligrams was in the... Uh... I don't know, like 100? What? 50? 50? Oh, yeah. 80? Wait, I got you lucid? No, I mean, 
So you, that's what I'm I saying. Like earlier when we I got, I look, 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 earlier when we got on the camera, right? We said, yo, be fucking for real, bro. <laughs> Stop lying. This man in here high as hell, bro. You damn fiend. You damn drug addict. You <laughs> fucking, you, you fucking <laughs> junkie. <laughs> Oh my god! Nah, you know, fucking like, junkie. And the whole time, the whole time, my point, you, my you, you point. off TAC. That's why this motherfucker and this bitch dozing <laughs> off. That's why his ass having a hard time. Look at his eyes, this nigga high as hell, laughing. You giddy, you geeky ass motherfucker. No, this is what I, the point. The overall point is, I understand that we're trying to have a conversation in this. Bro, aspect. you look so like what I'm saying is Bobby Brown. But what I'm makes saying with, is in the moment. <laughs> Y'all you look, you look, you look like, you look like, yeah, you look like, yeah. you remember, uh, Sugar yeah, Mama, yeah, remember yeah. Sugar Mama, ba- Sugar Mama Son? The one that used to be singing and shit? Sugar Mama. Yeah, Penny, other proud uh, family. Other proud family. Yeah. Don't even look like him right now. Sugar Mama. Nigga, Oscar Proud's mama. Oh, hey, yeah. Oscar. The, the only thing I'm talking Penny about Penny Proud's is... dad. Oh, hell? The brother. Ow. Oh! <laughs> Hey, this nigga just hit that lyric like, oh, oh two miles back from 2008. Oh, uh, well, you look like a nobody. I don't even know what you were saying, bro. Came in here, faded. Came in here, faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole. Yo, the gang. Yo, what? What? What's to you, bro? Like, why did you come in here like that? Nigga, this? I'm literally talking about niggas not talking about nothing. Yo, it's been... Niggas be- not having a conversation. Whatever you niggas took... Not, niggas, whatever not you took it. niggas not having an engaging conversation. Niggas are just talking. That's all I'm saying. Yo, you're so high right now, bro. You can't even have a conversation. You're not even engaged. You're disengaged, buddy. Buddy. Buckle. Buckaroonie. No, dude, dude. Dude, whatever you took is beating you. Y'all got it. <laughs> Yo, whatever he took is beating him. Why you ain't coming? Is why you ain't coming here sober, bro? Sober minds. Oh, are, are you just? Are you lying? Let's get down to the bottom of it. This is an intervention. Yo, check this out. Why do you feel the need that you have to do drugs? Does it aid you in somehow? You know what the real question is here. <sighs> Will I keep this in or not? Everything's staying. <laughs> <laughs> you make it stay. <laughs> what type of shit is you on, bro? I'm not saying, bro. We're not talking about nothing. I get what you're... I get... I understand this whole thing right now. I understand what's going on and shit. I say we're not talking about nothing. we just talking. Why do you keep emphasizing we're not talking about nothing? You realize, you about realize nothing. that you've said at least 20 words today. Huh. We're not talking about nothing. <laughs> bring up, bring up another topic. <laughs> bring up another topic, and let's see how it goes. Go, go ahead. I just brought up a topic. He laughing. He couldn't answer. What was the topic? Don't worry about it, dude. Let's bring up one more, bro. You a disgrace. <laughs> yeah. We should probably just cut this episode, man. This man done ruined it. Do you do you need a perk as well? Go ahead, my boy. Just saying, when Perkins said, "Go ahead, my boy." <laughs> Bro, I don't me? know, man. You done just killed that. You done killed the vibe, man. I feel like I feel like um, Flacco or something like that, bro. I feel like I real, real deal Flacco, bro. I just wanted to have a podcast show where you know you don't have to take everything so serious. You can talk about topics that interest you. And you can just go wherever your mind takes you. And, you know, we not talking about nothing. So, you know, <laughs> might as well just wrap up whatever this is. Well, this is the... <laughs> I don't even know, bro. You just kept the vibe, bro. Like, why did you have to come Maybe in here like that? vibe is whatever you make it, my boy. Hmm, hey, nah. no, let's real life talk about it, bro. Why you gotta be so invasive all the time, bro? Invasive or what? Like big words, big words. Yeah, what, do, what does it mean? What does that mean? Evasive. Evasive. Yeah, Is that what you really meant to say? That's what I said. What does evasive mean? Read up the definition of it, my boy. 
Read it who, out. Who used it first? Huh? Read read out the definition. Um, hold on. This is medical. Tending to intrude on a person's thought or No, thought. that's invasive. What did you say? Invasive? <laughs> <laughs> At least you know your definitions. <laughs> if you know it, then why not just say it? Doctor. Yo, it's the fact that you're tending to avoid commitment or self-revelation, especially by responding only indirectly. Evasive, not invasive. Invasive is intruding. Context clues. Damn. Invasive? Evasive. And evasive. Yeah, so the way I'm saying it may sound like it's in, but it's not. I'm saying evasive. evasive. It's not I'm saying E-N? Bro, there's no N. It's E-V. E-V. I'm saying, dude is being evasive. I'm just not. I'm now. I'm saying it with it. So R E. Is it E or is it I? Is it? <laughs> I said invasive. Is it, is I said invasive. I said invasive at the first time. Nigga, I'm not talking about in. I'm saying E. You read the definition and I corrected you. That means I, I knew the word that I said. Correct. Correct. Okay then. Why are you in here being so mad, evasive, bro? Like I you, don't know. I don't. Okay, now you you now that we got that out the way, what do you mean by that? I mean, bro, you talking about like I've been high before. Hey. Like I, I I if no one no one understands, I probably smoked more than a damn chimney in my life. And that's the thing, right? I done been in situations where I done smoked so much and I done came in the room and I physically couldn't talk. Yeah, that that mean I was stuck. You know what I'm saying? And you've been showing all the signs of being stuck. And yet, every time you get pulled out of this dimension of being stuck, you get to, man, we not even talking about nothing, man. What we talking about? And it's like, <laughs> yo, you hot, you, you done, you done, you, you, you angel nuts. You know what I'm saying? I get, I get what you're trying to say. I get what you're trying to say. I get what you're trying to say. Huh? <laughs> You saying cut this off? No, no, no. I'm not gonna cut That's... this. I'm not gonna cut this out. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is, I'm just saying like. Where's the other eighty? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. He said. He said it took twenty percent of like a billionaire. I said, where's the other eighty? <laughs> No, nah, I mean, oh, if he said if it's if he said if it's like a uh, he said like eighty milligrams of THC, that's a lot. 80 20, 25, 20, 25%, 20% of a. That's a that eating got me very before. Bro, that's THC don't saying. THC that's don't work like that, brother. Oh, work why? You if you see if if you see a brownie and it's and it's packed in with THC, mm-hmm. if you take a corner, that corner gonna get you right. If you take a fourth, you gonna be. Sh- Duck. If you take half, you're gonna be gone. If you take the whole thing, you might as well just throw your day away. <laughs> what I'm saying is, his measurements was off. He ate half a gummy bear. All he needed was a foot. <laughs> I'm being that serious. <laughs> well, I'm saying like, I'm saying like, bro, this is me just being being the uh, having the knowledge of, of what I have, right? I'm seeing you. You're showing clear signs. My point is, my point is just, my point Wait, is we just have known this information and, we're and I brought it to life. Our, my point is just, we're on a topic. <laughs> this nigga look like he just shot a three. <laughs> He's like. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Where, we, where we have known this information, if I didn't call it out. I'm, I'm looking at him the whole time. Yo, you didn't see him earlier eating his pizza. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's funny. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, that's funny. But I'm no, peeping, I'm peeping folks like, what's, why his look, mannerisms look, my off? My point is this. My point is this. <laughs> it, my point is this. Is this shit make me tired than I want it to be? Yes. But the point also stands. And listen to the point before niggas continue to talk. Is that out of everything we have talked about so far, was it an engaging conversation or was it kind of just like we just talking about the topic? Yo. And again, maybe you nigga gonna have to maybe you gotta yo, run it back. Maybe you gotta yo, run yo. it back to find check out. Check it, check it out. Maybe you gotta run it check back it to find out. This conversation today would have more would have more so been engaging between this me and you. <laughs> yo, stop.
Stop trying to be evasive. <laughs> if we had if we had a engaging conversation today, for the most part, I did I did control the conversation. Factual. Facts, nigga. Yo, and you also chimed in. But I didn't hear one word from you. Nigga, I didn't chime in because I didn't care. I didn't care anymore. Yo, you done told me you didn't care. We not talking about nothing. Which one is it? Meg the Stallion? <laughs> Like, what is he talking about? <laughs> All I'm saying is, bro, you haven't added or contributed to the conversation. I guess, I guess, well, I, asked I, was you a question. Say, I guess what I'm trying to say is, in other weeks, in other weeks, the topic was engaging enough to even talk about. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying that. Oh my God. So you don't talk about the news. When you don't talk about the news on here, what are you talking it's not about? engaging. Yeah, I talked the last time. When you talk time, about the news. I talked the last time. I talked the last All time. All right, bro. That was the last Every time. Every other time I've talked. What I'm All right, saying bro. is... And how many times did you come in hot? Time, what I'm saying how is How many this times time, you come in off that, talk, that... How many times you come in off that... Toxic. Every single time. It's cap. Cut the cap. How many times you came in like this? My bo- Dude, dude, you're, you're literally look like you're getting beat by a pill right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're literally showing signs of somebody that is struggling. To stay yeah, up, bro. It's, and it's, this is not this is not natural induced yeah, sleep. Yeah. Yo, I'm tired right now, bro. See, and I'm coming you know, with more right, energy. Nah, I know this is just right because we're clearly off the rails. We're clearly off the rails, right? Is uh, <laughs> when do I say, all right, let's rap? When do you say that? Yeah, yeah. If I'm the one that has to control it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you you have to say that when you when you see it coming when you see it approaching the time. How am I without just abruptly saying, "Yeah, bro, we're in here just having a conversation, bro. The conversation is whatever we make it, bro. If you say, yo, we gotta wrap up the episode, you know what I'm saying, and we'll be back next week, bro. Just let us know. You feel me? We gonna get. So I'm gonna say, okay, let me but wrap but up before the you do all yeah, that, dude, before you do all that, <laughs> we will we will wrap it up. We will wrap it up. But here's the thing: before we wrap it up. I want you to understand, bro, you didn't contribute shit today. Okay. And and you're going to have another excuse. And back. I'm ready for you. Run it back. Run it back. Run what back? The episode? Yep. <laughs> no, no, you're... Look, 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 I'll, I'll run it back. Clearly not, niggas clearly I'll run, not listening to what I'm saying. Okay, I'll run it I'm back. I'm saying run it back as you're going to watch the episode back. Watch the episode back? Yo, this is nine times... Look, look, let's, let's get something like, straight, bro. I, look, Before look. we wrap it up. Before we wrap it up. 85% of the time, I am talking. Harry, facts. Yo, if you want to act like today is mad different from the last episode, yo, th- that's then you then you go with that narrative. That's your na- that's your narrative. Let the record reflect. You feel me? Yo, that's running off with it. Yo, I don't have nothing to tell you. It's not my fault if that's how you feel. All I'm saying is the other times you didn't come in. Zooted, my boy. Look how he look how he looking. <laughs> you know what's look so how funny? he responded, bro. You know what's so funny? Bro, you you look, know what's so funny? And what's so crazy was really actually crazy. Look how his radio is. Is this nigga could talk for the past three minutes <laughs> just to say he was different from the other episodes. That's why you didn't contribute to this whole episode. Yo, yo, three minutes yo, you just see how, to say hey, that. You see how he talk? I'm just saying. You see I'm how he talk? Saying. Hey, this this nigga took. Mm, hey, yo. this nigga took. Hey, you look, you look, you look, you lock eyes with me. This nigga took a lot of time to tell. Right, but come on, bro. It's 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 crazy. Let's wrap it up. Yo, don't cut nothing out of this episode, bro. Look, we we come, we approaching our time, and we gonna wrap up the episode. But we have to document these moments, bro. Everyone has to. And I want that. you to watch this whole episode back. That's all I want you to do. Back to back to back to back. I want you to get some sleep. I want you to watch this whole episode back. I, I want you to get I some sleep. To, I just want you to. Bro, do you that. look like you know. Hey, real quick, I'm gonna end it. But merch, you don't look like Prime. You <laughs> fucking. Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie don't look like Prime. Who's Prime? Can we wrap it up? He look like Prime. Can we wrap it up? He look like Prime if he got if, if Prime got it to the back. If Prime did it to the back. Uh, He's just not strong face enough. That's all. Yeah. He too little body. He too little body. Get your weight up. Prime not that bad. He not. That's why I say he look like him. Am I, over, or am I just overgeneralizing another black man with blonde with blonde? 
blind, uh, probably, probably, I don't know, man, this episode was definitely something that we need to put on the books, um, I got a lot of clip moments, make sure you clip them, um, (laughs) (laughs) this thing is and, and, uh, (laughs) Uh, let's go, let's go, let's celebrate another day to go on viral. Um, yep, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, next episode, we gonna learn from this one and just make some adjustments. And I think, uh, we need to have these discourses. Uh, I think we need to have these conversations on camera. So, that way we can learn from this and we can build and continue (laughs) to be the podcast that we have always knew that we were. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so with that being said <laughs> <laughs> This is another episode oh, of no. Yo I right, yo chill out chill out Hey y'all y'all yeah. tripping bro Y'all tripping bro Y'all doing way too much bro Hey let me have that little fucking moment what Alright like I said man um this is very teachable <laughs> and we will learn because we are all students of the game for sure and with that being said you know what I'm saying this was another episode of Slime World Podcast I'm Lil Boy Rock I'm high <laughs> he did that on purpose he, he ruined the entry he ruined the outro he ruined the outro just to make you laugh just to make you sound like his minion why are you screeching <laughs> Why are you screeching? What's wrong with y'all? Dude, why is y'all? Stupid. Why are y'all in that here? Was stupid. Yo, I know you guys are perfect. If, had, if we had mics right now and microphones, I would slap both of y'all, bro, for the amount of screeching y'all would been doing in my ears. This is crazy. I don't even know what to do right now. The man that killed the they killed the house, bro. We not doing another episode with clips again, bro. Say outro and end this motherfucker. Hi, I'm Paul. I don't want to mess the fuck these friends. All the rats going on make a dance. Sipping on a walk, I'm in a trance. Sipping on a walk, I don't need friends. Popping a perk, 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 perk. Chopping on a church, church, church. I'm on a block with a work, work, work. Play with me.